Good, good morning to all of you. Myself, Professor Kavi Akhtar Meza from Malangamkar and the Navy Technical Campus. Uh, this is the practical hours. Uh, we will discuss on the mini project on the industrial building today. Before going there, we will recap <coughs> of uh, our last four practical work we have done and then we will start our uh, mini project one, building. Uh, mostly the industrial building need a long span <coughs> and more clearance. So that's why the steel structures are preferred for the long span and very economical if you are going for the electric steel structure due to the cylinder sections are there and we, we get large area for our work place. Okay, like this the people they will disturb us. So in previous uh, shifts we have uh, seen the Sheet number one to uh, four in design of structure. So this tumbo consists of the uh, journal containing the following design drawing and site visit reports. Oral examination will be based on the tumbo uh, will complete. And two credit are there uh, for this design of structure lab. It is very important. And here there is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5 credit for this subject. So it is very important and is scoring for you. If you prepare well and you will study regularly, then you can score out of credit and you will earn out of credit and you will get out of marks. Uh, because in numericals, if you are uh, you are doing the well or your examples are correct, then you get good marks. So this uh, some instructions uh, regarding the uh, lab work is to purchase at this sheet sheet. The first lecture, all these things already have occurred, and some of part C or part C, you can see you have to draw a, a one sheet with the using block there, and then uh, for the together you have to do the complete calculation and then you have to make the program on the spreadsheet or excel sheet whatever uh, so regular uh, assessment is already given on, on and most of the students uh, uh, still not check their sheet number one to four and many students they have already shown to me and their sheet is continuous assessment and those they are uh, showing the sheet on or offline, they are coming to college and uh, with uh, proper care and showing the sheet. Yeah, and the students they are uh, away from the home and they, they are completing their sheets and uh, submitting online. That is also I am considering and I am writing down the dates. Uh, and then they will meet us the physically very well due to the mass and uh, give sign on the students. Then also I have told you that you should purchase the uh, print or the learning tools needed for design of the steel structures. So in this in that case uh, the I scores are very important to purchase the I scores uh, uh, very uh, well. And if you purchase the I score, then uh, you can uh, easily go on design uh, your work, design calculation, also drawing. Do on yourself, and also the guidance from the subject teacher you will get as you will watch it. If you are not doing the uh, work, then you will not get the problem. Doubts and you will not get it. So, learning tools and learning materials should be downloaded and 
printed as per required because in examination you are uh, allowed to use IS ports, steel tables. These are permitted in uh, design of steel structures. Also, for the lab work, uh, if you are going to design industrial building from Berlin to road trails to the reset plates and connection plates and the dirt, uh, the beams and the columns and the gantry girder, etc., you need to be uh, the guideline from the port and that guidelines help you for analyze and design of your uh, uh, steel structure members. So these codes are very important. You should you should have in all these codes with you for design of the steel structure. It is very uh, important and uh, you should go through that codes and they are nothing but the guidelines for uh, design of your steel structure. Uh, okay. So many students they already uh, completed their work. They have seen. I will just show to the uh, students' name those who are submitted and the four sheet details already have given and many students already. Completed and shown to me. Sheet number one is uh, for the top. Sheet number uh, four, part one is the four interior sheets. You have to go for that. And part two is uh, the design of the industrial building. And we have the scales of that industrial building, both uh, the graphical method and for the calculation of the forces. And we will start this today. And today we will uh, how to select the type and size of press and how to do the date load, line load, and the load calculations. So we need, uh, and for, for that design, we need uh, IS875. Three, that is 2015. The latest code we have to use for the design that is permitted by our SPTU. So you have to go for the latest design, and these codes are available on in internet. Also, all these codes I have shared with you on Google Classroom. You can download from there, and uh, you can use for the guide. So this part two we will be going to start uh, today, design of industrial building. And in design of this industrial building, we have to make three hand drawn sheets by six and seven. In that you have to analyze the industrial building, uh, you have to select the size, functional planning of the building, industrial building, then you have to go for the analysis of the loads on the roof of the industrial building, then the forces coming on the structural member of the industrial building, then one by one you have to make the design, design truss first, then uh, you have to design the column and you also you have to design the beam, dressings, uh, all these things coming under the industrial building design also you have to design the problem based on the loads coming up. So on sheet number five, you have to draw a key plan of chosen dress, whatever you have chosen, get load analysis and light load analysis and input analysis you have to perform. And uh, all these calculations also you have to uh, do on the common pages, write down the calculation also and uh, draw the sheet also. And in sheet number six, you have to draw the table calculation of the forces and design both of different both combinations and also the tailing of the truss for which you are going to design with coming on the seat number six. Seat number five and six with the load calculations uh, by graphical method and number forces calculation by doing the remote combination by graphical method 
and then you have to find out uh, the combination of load and then before was combination you have to design the uh, member uh, numerically and after that uh, you have to design the gantry together in your industrial building and the column design yeah, taking the load of the rope truss and gantry together and tracings okay these are the three sheets you have to draw uh, in the part B of your uh, term model. Okay, in design of this is the mini project. In the mini project, you have to select uh, uh, one group leader and four members. So, total maximum five students are allowed for the mini project. Uh, as per previous, uh, there is only four members are allowed. But, uh, Current uh, uh, current uh, syllabus you have know, this already part one uh, that is uh, the sixteen sketches on four sheets we have already completed and many students we have shown. So you you may see the uh, I think so this. You are able to see the sheet on the sheet. So you see on the sheet there is the roll number at the left corner and then uh, name of the student and the student those who are shown the sheet have uh, written the uh, this is the continuous assessment uh, for the student and on the top all headings are there so you should, uh, you should do all the work and the date and marks will be given as for the student they will assess the work I will write down the dates and based on the dates they will get the marks on their sheet on their work and that is nothing but the continuous assessment of the student so many students have submitted online many students they visited the college they are shown the offline uh, these student lists are there and still lots of students are balanced to show the sheet number one to four and lots of students, around 60% students, still not started the work. And I will call to their parents uh, or send a message to their parents uh, so that they will take the serious. Okay. So. <laughs> this is all about the previous work and the work submitted by uh, your uh, friends also with me. Now uh, uh, we will start our session. Actually, this is also the attendance record. Uh, the yellow mark uh, highlighted uh, student having zero attendance, and many students having the uh, hundred percent or ninety percent or sixty-five percent, fifty-five percent are also there. So this fifty percent attendance. Uh, and 25% in the regular and uh, many students. Uh, it seems the many students they are even someone has 25% attendance for the training and practical class. And few students they are only joining the practical class, few students they are going on uh, your lecture or theory classes. So this is a, 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 this record, attendance record I am submitting regularly. Uh, since your uh, lecture on uh, lecture and practical started from July uh, second week, so all the record from the second week till now is submitted to the department and uh, is submitted to the principal also. So these uh, records are going to be considered for your assessment also. So there is marks in continuous as well for your uh, regularity also. Okay, so this you should. Now, 
this is plan sheet over here I will write down uh, this is the practical number this is practical number pi and plan design of Okay. So we will start with our new project on the side of industrial building. So this is the uh, work is divided as per the roll number. Because uh, the student will not come into college, that's, that's why the distributions are ordered as per the roll number. And this mini project on design of industrial building to uh, proper care, uh, this new project on the design of industrial building, uh, the lab design of steel structure, this subject, and the date today, today is the 18th of August. Uh, 2021. Okay. So design and industrial building as for the following details. Details of and locations are given. Uh, why locations are given? Because uh, the locations are given for the wind pressure calculation. Uh, there is uh, there is a self weight on, on the structure, dead weight and nylon, and also the effect of wind is also there on the steel structure and we have to design for the worst combination for the wind bus process and the steel. Okay, the design and instrument building is for following details. Uh, here we have to take FY and 250 MPA and FE, FE, FE 410 for all the building. All the building is whatever. For lanes or number of trusses, so I have to go for that. So, group one uh, is uh, the first column is group, second column is roll number, and the location of your industrial building in India is span per meter width, is span in meter, that is width of uh, in the shed length of your set okay and kill the height of the shed that the use in the meter so all this is okay, uh, uh, for different group is given for group number one i will read group number one or number one to five the location is nasty nasty district uh, and this mean is 10 meter length of shade is 30 meter and the clear height of shade at the root is 6 meter Okay. Similarly, for group number eight, the roll number thirty-six to forty, the location is Delhi. Uh, span of uh, your industrial building is thirteen meter, length of your industrial building twenty-five meter, and uh, the height of building is ten meter. Okay. So for different groups, uh, different locations are there, and based on locations, uh, you have to your industrial. If you do not understand anything, you can ask with me and I will explain to you. So don't worry, uh, we are going to be conducting this and we uh, understand. If you are not understand, then you can come to me or contact with me and I will explain. Then this uh, part two of your uh, DSS uh, three sheets and all sheets are uh, drawn, hand drawn. Okay, sheets are hand drawn in the industrial building. And already this is uh, discussed uh, with you that you have to make a key plan of your shed. Then net load analysis, biographical method, liability analysis, biographical method, 
and bears around this you have a force table and from the force table from the force table uh, you have to make a worst combinations of loads and this load combination based on these load combinations you have to design the number of trusses and then you have to draw details of your trusses so that you have to do okay you have to complete the task very well and then also you have to do the design of planting order for your industrial building and design of your column uh, also rotating of your column and planting together and you can adjust if there is problem to adjusting your sheet you can in place of three you can go for the four sheet also there is no issue but minimum sheet will be three and down and if you are not accommodating all the, uh, the figures and detailings on three sheet you may go for the four sheet also for this industrial building design three sheets are compulsory and if you don't accommodate on three sheets you can go for four sheets uh, so this is all about uh, the design of industrial building here. Now, how you can go for uh, design of the so this one example I will take for you. So you can uh, take uh, open your camera and uh, pour, take pen and paper so that uh, you can able to understand how you have to design uh, your industrial building. Okay. So design of industrial building are located in Lakhpur, Maharashtra with overall plan dimension of all or the factory set is uh, 15 meter by 30 meter. It is given uh, the shared area and the uh, roofing <laughs> GI sheeting and the clear height of building is given uh, 7 meter and the terrain is open terrain. The terrain is open terrain. Okay. With well scattered structure, you will still upgrade if you pour one. So this uh, uh, is uh, you have given a uh, data as a login that I can write down. Read and start with so design of industrial building. And industrial building, first we will go for the, uh, well, because for, first we will, we will come to the first press. So this one is the term of your part. Part one, four lunches already two. So, what sample design calculation I am doing for you uh, is uh, the given data I will write on uh, and the industrial building location. And with overall plan dimension, with phase given 15 meters, and then 
fruit of the sharing of you. The rocking and shooting is we are shooting and shooting. So the height of building is given by the use because and the views given same. So simultaneously you are uh, also covering the unit number five by doing this practical. Okay, in unit number five, uh, we have the uh, uh, design of industrial trust and country gutter. So simultaneously, if you are uh, doing this mini project, of, uh, mini project uh, one, if you are doing, uh, so this is nothing but uh, you are also. Simultaneously learning the unit number five of your syllabus. So it is very important you should uh, remember and you should regularly join the lectures uh, so that you will not miss anything. So you are, we are already conducting the unit number one in the, in the theory class and that also we will finish tomorrow for the example of design and tension in the and then we will go for switch to the number two as the number one is complete. So this is very important. This is uh, uh, in your unit number part of unit number five. Okay. So if you are learning this uh, unit project, then you are learning by also in theory, and that is. Uh, Okay, height of building and the use is given to the one meter. And for me, I believe me. Okay. 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 Normal for me, I believe. Then we will do the function. So in functional planning, so this is your shed.
So uh, you have to uh, uh, divide it by uh, And then uh, I will draw the truss line with the red color. So I will divide the length of your 30 meter with a different way. Different way. So I will divide the 30 meter divided by 8. So I will divide the 30 meter. In eight days, eight number of days. Length of bay is and divide this 40 meter by the length of bay is the length of single bay. Centers of the central distance between the truss. This, this is nothing but our truss line. Seven trusses will come, and at end of at ends there is cable ends. At ends there are Okay. Now uh, you have to uh, divide the uh, also uh, provide a formula over the truss for supporting the whole thing. We will write the formulas are. They are parallel to the fuse, okay, and those are the parallel to the cable. Plan also you can uh, divide this slowly for the length of span. Okay. If I will divide it uh, with 10 number, so in plan it is 1.5. Okay. 
if I will divide facing this is my problem is 1.5 uh, meters then there is 10 final so this this is called as so if I will uh, draw in the plan to draw the section so how it may be this is look like this is the one Intensity is there, that is the whole section. Right? So, this is the our truss will be. I will go in for the crack type of truss. Total, we are dividing the same number of same number. Right. Okay. So that is the step number one. Since our span is in between, in between 6 meters to 20 meters, so you can go for that type towards the So here we have chosen the first one that is back address here for our example. So choose the type of truss. So different types of process are there. Different types of process are there. Based on this type of truss, you can see the scissor truss, holy truss, 6 meter to 30 meter, red truss, 6 meter to 30 meter. Find the same meter to eight meter, thin or fringe or tempered thin type of truss between 20 to 30 meter, simple thing, 6 meter to 9 meter span, wind type, wind type of truss, then sawtooth, uh, not like truss. So you can go for any type of the truss, usually the truss is for the bridges. So you can go for the Truss for the suiting in type of truss as per your requirement, as per the location, as per the span of your process. Uh, okay, so you can uh, go for any type of truss. So we are uh, uh, going for this that type of truss. So given that type of truss. Okay, and this is the step number two. Then step number two. To select the rise, the rise of trust, it, it may be based on the location of the requirement. Generally, we are taking the piece of process in between 1 by 4 of this time. So, one by four of this. Or 1 by 6 of this time. So, if you go for that, 1 by 4 of this span is 3 meters. 
We will take uh, in what area there is no snowfall or In ten meter, plus in ten panel, plus in ten panel, so it's facing of for in plan, facing of for in plan. So generally the spacing of purling we are providing as for the thickness of the lifting sheet of the material. So we have the shed length is 30 meter here. So if we have discussed above, we are going for the 8 bay, then for 1 bay, or this is nothing but nothing but the basing of truss. Basing of your truss. And so the length of bay is nothing but So this, this already I explained in uh, when we are drawn this figure here. Okay, so A is the dividing A and A, the length of single day will be the value of A. Okay, and that is nothing but spacing of truss. This is nothing but also spacing of your truss. Okay. So I think so all are there. Anything? Uh, I told you uh, to open your camera and you should write down all this. Then only you can able to design. Otherwise, uh, you can't. Uh, Yes, so that's Are you there? 
तो थे या जाए दे रहे कोई जवाब नहीं दे रहे हेलो साहिब सॉरी बैड कृष्णा गुगल देर यस राइटिंग और नॉट राइटिंग और नॉट जस्ट राइटिंग सर राइटिंग इफ यूर राइटिंग So, step number four of the that we have come. Now, uh, here we explain how to write the share in the number of pairs in the number of times. Okay. So this is number four. We have step number five. It depends on the uh, angle, slope angle. Okay. We can write this step number five. Find out the slope. So, we're cheating or we're not. So, if I will draw the half portion of your truss, this is your truss, and its rise is just considering step number one, two point five meter, and You know this fifteen by two, so that means half a span. So this is the slope theta. So you know, you know that the tan theta is nothing but the rise upon the span by two. Theta in the tan also, and also rise is 2.5 meter, and span by 2 meter is 2.5 meter. So theta will be the height of that tan from this. So theta will be the height of 2.5 meter by 2.5. So tan is also 0.3. It is coming 0.3. Angle theta of the slope is eighteen point four three. To write in degree in mid, it will be theta. To write in mid, that is eighteen degree and twenty six minute. This is uh, our slope. Uh, also, we find out. Okay. Now, step number six is uh, step number six is okay. here one important point I will discuss with you. Here we, have, we should know the final point. What is the final? Point? So if you go for this, I will take another uh, color to explain you uh, how the final point is. Right? So if you uh, think here, the half of this load, this this if I will consider this final point load, if I will concentrate load of you here, so this half. Both side of the truss and half both side of your curly. So this shaded area is called as final area. So this shaded area, the shaded area is called as shaded area is called as final area. 
and final area is the is nothing but the spacing of coding one point five to the spacing of course that is three point one five that is nothing but the final area in plan in plan. Okay, so this formula of the we 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 should know or we come to know at least. And if I will come here, if I will come here and come here, only half that you press and this thing. Load at the end will be half. Here also I will come here and there. It will be half. Okay, it is the same. So that's why if you going for the load calculation on the final area. So what is the final area? Agar hum section mein bhi dekhe, so half of the curling and half of the truss, the load is coming on the concentrated load, and this is called as the final. Okay. That's the number. When when but when you come at the end, so it is the half of that. So here the load will be the half. If, if, if this is the peak, then this will be. Okay, so because the area is here, so if their final point load P here is P, then at the end there is half. Okay, so you should remember. Okay, so while calculating this final area is required, so step number six. If you go for the step number six, step number six. Load calculation, load calculations. On on final part. On final on final part. So already we have drawn the layout. So from the layout. Showing, showing the spacing of the bus. Bus. So that layout uh, we will uh, draw already at the start. One showing the spacing of the bulkings and the spacing of the truss. Okay. So first we will calculate the final area. Final area. So I write down the final area in plan. Area plan. And I will be able to write the final area. So it is given by the spacing of spacing of plus into the spacing of spacing of curly. A spacing of truss and a spacing of curly, and that is in plan. In plan. So that is spacing of truss in plan. It is three point seven five meter. A spacing of curly in plan is one point five meter because we are divided into ten panels. 
okay so we are divided for the uh, uh, cross into the panel and that is we are taking as the case mode for the unit so so if you multiply this to the plan area is 5.65 5.625 meter. Okay. Now the this is uh, this is the uh, plant area. So now we will address the red road for now. So you know this roof truss, uh, we have the roof truss, any loads are there on the roof truss, this is our roof truss, okay, I you made earlier, and this is divided by different members, ceiling, skirt, ceiling, skirt, ceiling. Okay. okay, so this is called a ceiling. So we are divided 10 panels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this top chord number is of course is called as principal rafter simply writing the rafter the inclined member of truss inclined member of truss called or the compression member it may be inclined of yes this is the compression okay. may be inclined of on gravity load and the bottom chord member, bottom chord member is called as tie. Bottom chord member, called as tie. Generally, this is on gravity load, on gravity load. So, whatever I am writing, tension of compression. This is in case of gravity law. So, yeah. And based on the load, wave load on the roof truss, uh, uh, the load combination of get load, dry load and wind load, that combination decide where is where tension or combination is. So how many members are truss uh, in the number of truss there is Principal rafter, principal rafter, second is the tie member, third one is the string. These are the members of the trusses. Okay. So your truss is generally consists of combinations of different members elements. So it is the truss is made with the different element and members and they are divided into operation as per the actual mode on these meters. So general load is coming on the end. So if you go for the dead load analysis, so on the number of your trusses, I draw the number of the trusses. So at 
told you gravity load downward, you put a dead load, you put a light load, you have the loads. Dead load, nothing but the gravity load. So, dead load calculation we are doing. So, gravity load is there, dead load. Now, dead load we can carry around. Dead load we can carry around. Sub set by another. Sub set by another. Self weight of truss. Self weight of truss. Self weight of truss and self weight of truss is acting on the right in the curly bracket acting on the plan area. Okay, it is acting on the plan area. The plan area we have to make Okay, so this is generally it is taken as it is taken as 100 newton per meter square. Or, or 150 meter per meter square. Okay. And it is denoted by Now, second, if you go a weight of working material, weight of, we can go. Roofing material. So, dead load, this is also dead load on the uh, member uh, on truss. So, dead load of the roofing material and is denoted by WR. So, for GI, for GI sheeting is there. So, this you can take the uh, load from the IS uh, 800. Uh, you go for the eyes. I say seven five part one. So in eyes eight seven five part one, the you can find out the code of practice for design load other than the check for building in the structure. Is reaffirmed by in the 1997. Okay, so various load loads are given on the on this. Okay. So you can see the block, bricks, cement, for block, gutter, line, linoleum, masonry, pipes, plaster, sheeting, slag wood, timber, terrazzo, unit weight of building for ceiling materials. Okay. Roofing material, thing number 30. So, if you go there, then the, these loads are given. Let's see. Follow the structure. The roofing, restore cement sheeting. The weight is 85 meters per meter square. Flower tiles roofing, country tiles uh, that is pattern tiles, manual tiles over roof that three tiles we are putting. We have load. Okay, yellow is roofing, we are sheeting. This exact uh, load, dead uh, load, you can take from the IS 800. I S eight seven five part one. So I S eight hundred and seventy five part one for the dead load of so this load you can take from the design load for the update for building structure is the heading part one in dead load unit weights of building material and store material. So from this code you can uh, able to take dead load. The goal of practice or 
But this is over a sloping area. This is not on the plan area. This is over the sloping area because the roofing sheets are on the sloping area. So that is also that should be. Now, third weight uh, on the weight of the press is weight of furnace. Weight of because the weight is uh, the furling is supported by the uh, weight of uh, fighters. The furlings are also the furling. And denoted by WP. Generally taken 100 meter per meter to make a more meter. Right? Assume or take from the design. Do 100 meter. Or take from take from. The load is more than 100 newton per meter, then you will revise. Okay. Or if you have already designed the purling, take that. In the fourth load on your cross is the basics. It's also over a plan area. Plan. And can be. Can be. So now you can see here get load on the get load on truss. This is load on the plan area. This first one is also on the plan area. These two are on the Planning. I will combine this. I will write down. Plus weight of air in the blue P into plan area. Plus weight 
weight of protein sheet WR it is on sloping area sloping area is like AS plus weight of protein WP into the spacing of protein and spacing of cholesterol into S S is not in the spacing area here A is the sloping area, sloping area. We divide the plan area with cos theta so that we will move the and here S is the S is the spacing of spacing of After putting all this value, after putting all this value, we can uh, get the dead rule on this. So I will uh, write down each value here. I will assume each value. For so if I will take, I will take. WS is equal to red Newton per meter square. Okay. WP is equal to 15 Newton per meter square. And we get the R rate of efficiency 131 Newton per meter square. WP per mill load is considered a per meter. You can change here is and cos theta you can find out cos of 18.43 degree and calculate. So easily you can find out the area and slope is. 5.625 divided by 0.9 and the slope will come five point nine three five point nine three five point nine three So I will put all this value to get load as equal to it. For say 100 plus 50. Into plan area 5.625 plus 131 slope area slope area is 5.0 plus 100 into a plus 3.75 so we are getting the load in Newton one seven nine eight one eight seven newton. The dead load is coming approximately one point eight kilo newton. So this is all about the dead load calculations. So you know the panel area here at the top. So write the load. So the load you can write like this. Yes. The load is 0.9 kilo newton and 
Similarly, we can find out for the second part of your load calculation. The second part of your load calculation. So, here. So Lyloid analysis is very simple. Uh, so Lyloid you can find out and the road will come on the problem first and then you can go for that particular conversion to the process. So for uh, Lyloid calculation you have to refer the IS 875 part 2 of Indian Standard Code. This is the IS 875 part 2 1987 here for 1990. So design load other than earthquake for building and structure part two is the imposed load. Imposed load means live. Okay. So here different live loads are given in these codes for loads and application imposed loads, loads due to the partition, reduction imposed on the floors, posting of floor capacity, imposed load on the roof. Because we know the imposed load on the roof, we will go for there. Thirteen is there. Okay, so we go directly on the page number thirteen. Other is four and other three. You can read up on your own. Already this part is covered in some parts maybe. So there are different line loads uh, you are calculating. For a station building, is two kilometer per meter square. Okay. Twelve units, one point five meters. 2, 3, 5, 4, based on the storeroom, living room, kitchens, right? how to calculate them. And then also, uh, garage floor is there, it's 2.5 kilometers per meter square. Garage floor vehicles, vehicles are there, then 5 kilometers per meter square. Similarly, educational building, 3 kilometers per meter square. And office long dormitory is 2 to 0.5 projection room, kitchens, different buildings having different types of plywood are given in the code. But here we have to go for the live for the industrial building. Okay. So in industrial building, we need for the floor load of efficiency. But here we are not going for the floor load. We need the roof, we are going for design the uh, roof truss, so that's why we are going for the roof. So, here, import over So, for the import load on flat roof, sloping roof, and third roof, the import load to use or occupancy of the building and the geometry of the type of roof should be given in table. What it says that if you are going for the live load on the roof, so you have to take from the table number. So I will come to table number two. You can see the table number two of IS 875 part two imposed load on various types of roof. It is not visible. Now it is visible. So this table number two is the imposed load on the various types of roads, so 
the types of roof is the flat slope or curved roof with slopes of 10 degree if axis pointed. So if axis is pointed, then 1.5 km per square. Okay. Uniformly imposed load on plan area. So it is on plan area. Okay. If access is not provided, then the, your load is 0.75 km per meter square. 1.9 km uniformly distributed over and span 1 meter width of the roof slab, 4.5 km uniformly distributed over and span of any beam or turrets or wall. So if access provided, the lie load on the truss is 1.5 km per meter. This is void. This void is void. So my load is equal to point five zero four. And if access is not void, access voided means if there is access on roof. If access not voided, if there is no access on roof, any upper jane kiri koi rasta nahi. Zero point seven five kilometer four meter square, or you can write seven fifty meter four meter square, or you can write one thousand five hundred meter four meter square, and what kilometer into meter. Okay, but if it is where where there is uh, uh, the theta, this is for theta less than 10 degree. This is for theta less than 10 degree. In our case, the theta value is 18 point something. The slope, uh, in our case, slope, in our case, in our case, theta is equal to 4, 3 degree. It is greater than 10 degree. Okay? So what we have to do? You can see here if access not voided, uh, sloping roof is slope greater than 10 degree. Sloping roof is slope greater than 10 degree. What what we have to do? So here in our case the sloping roof is there and slope is greater than 10 degrees also there. For roof membrane sheet of purlins 0.75 kilo newton per meter square. And you put this 0 0.02 kN per meter square for every degree is in slope of 10 degree. So if we convert this into the uh, numerical form, what it will be? And I will this kN I will convert to the kN. So what the case may be? In second case, slope in our case is theta is uh, so if theta value is greater than 10 degree, then what will be the formula? The lie load on <coughs> Perlin is given. Lie load on Perlin is given. Yes. 750 minus 750 minus 18. 43 minus 10 into 20. So for every increase of the slope uh, of uh, more than 10 degree, her increase the kitna comes from 20 newton per meter is per come from. So that's uh, right here. This will be used into into. Okay. We already have done this into 20. So we work so all this. So here is theta minus 10. Okay, the formula is like that. Theta minus 10 over 10 degrees. This will be the formula. This will be the formula. Okay.
So in our case, theta is uh, 0.43, 18.43, minus 10 is 8.43 into 20. Then it 168.6 Newton per meter square. This is coming 168.6 Newton per meter square. This has to be reduced from this. I will reduce 750 minus 168.6. So it is coming 581.4 newton per meter square. So this is the line load on per meter. This is the line load on the per meter. This is not lie load on the truss, this is the lie load on the bottom. Then what is given, uh, uh, the lie load on the bottom is given. And if you are converting this, the so lie load on the truss will be taken as, lie load on truss will be taken as, truss taken as. And this value is greater than 400 Newton per meter square, what is given in the, uh, this. So here, if your value is greater than, the subjected to minimum of 0.4 kilometer per meter square, and 400 Newton per meter square, this is minimum chahiye. Itna load aapka minimum chahiye on per meter. Agar nahi hai, to aapko less than 400 hai. Yeah, 0.4 km per meter. If you are less than 0.4 km per meter square, then yeah, 400 meters per meter square. So it is greater than. So it is okay. So lie load on truss will be. It is two third of. It is taken as two third of. Lie load on per limb. And then it is taken as. Two third of lie load on truss. So lie load on truss will be two third of lie load on per limb is five eighty one point four per meter square. So lie load on truss will be two to go by three three eighty seven point six newton per meter square. This coming. 7.6 newton per meter square. That is the equivalent lie load on So we will stop here and then we will find out here. Now, final point lie load on final point on final point. Point because it is coming on the sloping area, so it will be 387.6 newton per meter square into area is 5.625 meter square. It will be cancelled and the value will be in newton 387.6 into 5.625. It is coming 2180. Newton at the point. So if right in kilo newton, so it will be two point one eight kilo newton or simply two point two kilo newton. And this is also the gravity load. So if draw the figure if I move on the ground. So here it will be the half of this 1.1. Okay. 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 Okay.
So these two we have already calculated dead load and live load calculation. And uh, I think so. आपको यहाँ तक समझ में आ गया होगा. Wind load calculation के लिए आपको is it seven five or three meter? Okay. So I am share on. So this is nothing but dead load and Part three is for the wind calculation. We should uh, take the wind uh, the dashboard also. Thank you. 